In the concrete jungle, a park is the closest you'll get to nature. But believe it or not, just a few miles away, these gentle giants are swimming by. Like when you're in the city, you don't really expect anything like a whale to happen, but then when you're here, it happens so close, it's really cool. In the past 10 years, the population of humpback whales have grown exponentially. 272 were spotted in the New York area last year alone, a big jump from 2011 when there were only five sightings. So I'm taking Matt Cruz here in Breezy Point, Brooklyn, to see if we can spot some of those whales making their way along the East Coast. Pulling out to sea, everyone's eyes were glued to the water. It's always great to see the wildlife come back in New York City. Searching for any sign a whale might be near. I've seen a couple of little splashes here and there. I keep getting excited. Well, no, that's an excellent observation. We also have um, Atlantic sturgeon in the area. Right, Many fear the guests of honor wouldn't make an appearance, but after a few hours, gentle giants finally surfaced. A humpback whale was spotted just over there in that area. Oh, you know what? It's actually coming over to this side. The whole thing with whale watching is that you have to be quick. But every five minutes, we seem to be moving just to catch these guys. For years, humpback whales were threatened by fishing nets and polluted waters. Many feared for their extinction. But clearer waters have made the New York area a popular hotspot for the once endangered species. In previous years, they would bypass our area, going to other well-known feeding grounds further north. But in the past 10 to 12 years or so, they have been uh, starting to recognize the western New York bite as a, as a source for food as well. Towards the end of the trip, viewers were shocked by what they'd seen. I, I never realized how big they were. Something we want to see more of, the water's clean, it's all a good sign, so keep them coming. And it's great for tourism here in New York. It's another exciting thing to do. After this journey, once mysterious creatures of the sea are now simply called New Yorkers. Ariel Hickson, I-24 News.